Hi, I'm Pastor Dave, and I'm back again with another story by the campfire. Now, this story takes me way back to when I was a summer camp counselor at a Lutheran summer camp, my first exposure to church stuff, really. And I remember about halfway through the summer, we got the list of campers that were coming in, and in my cabin was a nice list of 10 guys, like normal, except some of the other counselors and the camp director looked at me and went, oh no. I said, well, what's going on? And by the way, camp director, you're the one who made these lists, so what have you planned for me? And they all shook their heads. They are the ones that had been there before, and they said, the kids that you're getting this week are the troublemakers. And we decided to make it easy on everybody by sticking them all in your cabin. And I said, great, that sounds like a great plan for everyone but me. But that's okay, I'll tackle it. But by the way, what did they do? And they got a litany of, you know, talking late and staying up late and all this stuff. But they got to the prized troublemakers, the ones who had committed the transgression for the ages, which is they had taken the supplies from the craft shed and Ty dyed the swimming pool. That's right, big, almost Olympic-sized swimming pool. They tie-dyed the thing. It had to be completely drained, completely redone. Everyone was furious, and these were the mischief makers I was getting. So I listened to that, and I prepared. I prepared for a week of heck that I was going to be able to sleep through, where they had to sleep with one eye open, all this stuff, right? So day one, all the guys get there. We go to the cabin, we sing some songs, we do some stuff, and I'm waiting for the trouble, and it doesn't come. Day one, nighttime, I sleep with one eye open. Day two, I'm a little tired, still waiting for trouble. None happens. I start talking to the guys. They start laughing. They start joking, and we had pillow fights and did other things. We went hiking and all the stuff that you do. No trouble on day two. In fact, we're actually forming quite a bond. Day three, okay, this is what they've been waiting for, right? For me to let my guard down. So we talk, we laugh, we eat lunch, we do all this stuff. Finally, in the afternoon of day three, I said, guys, guys, now I gotta confess, I was told to expect you. And I was told what happened last year and their eyes got wide. And I said, explain to me the tie dying of the pool. And you know, they didn't have a real good excuse for it. It was just a mischief making thing. But we all kind of laughed at it and they said, yeah, you know, that wasn't as good as we thought it was. And we really like this year better. And as it turned out, those people who were the troublemakers that I was going to be miserable with ended up being the best cabin of guys that I had, not only that year, but in all my years at camp. And I remember them to this day. And so I've kind of learned the lesson a little bit. Don't listen to expectations. Don't listen to what people warn you about other people to fear or to resent or to watch out for. Look for the good in people. Look for the beauty in people. Treat people as you would like to be treated and give them all the love and trust possible. And most of the time, they are not only going to give that back to you, but what grows between you will change not just you, but the whole world. The whole week we got through, not a sprinkle of tie-dye in the pool anywhere. They sang the loudest, they ate the most, we had the greatest fun, and to this day, I remember that week. Well, that's it for this story, and really for our series, it's getting to be winter. Maybe we'll bring this back in spring when it's a little nicer to be outside. But we thank everybody who shared a story and all of you who watched, and we'll see you next time we do the stories by the campfire.